I was speaking to a client yesterday who put on 20 pounds through her last lockdown. And she was currently five pounds up in this lockdown. And throughout our conversation, she was so distressed. And she kept saying, I just have no discipline. I have none. When I want to eat something, I even go buy the thing and then I eat it. And yet the longer we talked, I'm speaking to her and I'm like, what do you do? She's a single parent with her son in university. She's an ex-lawyer who now works managing investments and she's heading up an enormous, huge new project for her business. Does any of that sound like a person that has zero discipline? No, not even slightly. The amount of dedication and effort required to go through law school, to actually succeed and become a successful lawyer. I know I was one for 15 years. To be a single parent and pay your bills and bring up a balanced child that actually goes to university is a massive amount of discipline required in that. Then to change careers requires you to have an absolutely enormous amount of discipline and then to succeed in your second career. All of this speaks to somebody who has immense drive, dedication, and yes, discipline. But because she was putting on weight, she couldn't see any of this. She just couldn't see the success that she was because waking up every single morning and thinking, oh, I'm fat, I can't lose weight, I don't know what to do. All that she could see about herself was that she had eaten what she called bad food and that she couldn't help herself. She couldn't stop eating it and that all she was going to do that she could see into her future was that she was going to get fatter and fatter and that it was not going to get better for her. She saw herself as the victim of urges that she could not contain. Now, we've all done things that we said we were never going to do again. Smoke, drink, go back to that boyfriend who treated us badly. That friend that was mean to us, we've gone back and we've hung out with her again. We've eaten food that we know doesn't agree with us and gives us a tummy ache and we want to eat it. So, you know, we eat it. My name is Gita Siru Rob and I've helped over 15,000 women understand that gaining weight and losing weight isn't about what you eat. Yes, that is obviously part of it. But if it was just about what you ate, then if you stopped eating, it would go away. And yet we know that this doesn't happen. And we know that there is something else going on, but we don't know what. But we have managed to understand that there are things that you need to know that are blocks to you understanding what it is that is stopping you from losing that weight that once you fix it, actually helps you to lose weight in a completely different way. Weight loss is not the conversation you then start having. You just, just evolve into being a different person. So like with this lady, let me explain to you what we did with her. We sat with her and I was saying to her, so, okay, let's go back to the last, and this is an exercise you can do. I said to her, okay, what was the last time you ate something that you, sh you felt was bad? And she said, well, last night, you know, and I don't even know why I did it. I have no discipline. And she was off again. And I was like, okay, no, no, no. Let's work out what happened in your day. And she was like, well, it was just a normal day. I mean, I just, you know, I was doing this and she was actually on, on one of our juice uh, fasts, the winter cleanse. So she actually had her juices. She was having her soup at night, which she loved. And she's like, you know, I was fine. And then I just had to eat this fried food. So we talked about it a bit more and then it turned out that she was working with somebody who had actually gone behind her back and told her competitors what they were doing in an effort to try and get a job and she didn't know that at all but she found out because her competitor rang her because she had a good relationship with them i mean bless them and said oh you might want to know that this is happening and when she found out she felt awful because she felt like somebody who couldn't manage the responsibility of this project. She felt like a bad employer. She felt betrayed. She had no understanding of how to manage this process. And what was worse, alongside all of this, she felt isolated because she couldn't tell anyone what had happened because she was scared for her job. So what she did 
because she didn't have the skills and the emotional literacy to manage, feeling scared, isolated, worried. She literally ate her emotions. But nowhere in there did she act without discipline. I hope you can see that. Nowhere did she act without discipline. But what if she had had another way to manage those feelings of failure, the feelings of inadequacy, the feeling of guilt, just that sense that had brought down her self-esteem? If she had had something else to do, she would have been able to turn to those skills and not just eat to feel better. We call this feel shit, eat shit. It's a very technical, nutritional term. But it's something that we do because it is a, it is a, it is a way of the warning from your body. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not dealing very well. I know this and I am highly skilled at managing weight and health. But when I want to turn to something to eat that I know is not good for me, because I now have these skills, I stop and I think, huh, I'm upset about something. And I'm pushing it down and I don't know what it is, but I need to find out. That doesn't mean I'm not going to eat the chocolate, but I find out why I want to eat it. How do you cope when you feel like this? How do you cope when you feel guilt, when you feel shame, when you feel fear? Alternatively, another way to look at it is, have you been on a diet your entire adult life? In which case, let me help you develop and understand the emotional literacy to give you techniques that you can use instead of eating when you feel bad. If you wanna know more about this, just click on the link and join me and allow me to help you.